Charterman, 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 And everything else. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharmus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends tour review on the Marvel Legends Arnim Zola figure. Gotta give a big shout out and thank you to Adam Warlock for hooking me up with the figures I need to complete this build a figure. And also gotta thank Solid Snake for hooking us up and getting us uh, rolling on that transaction and everything. So big thanks to both of you guys. Uh, this figure is very, very cool. I've actually been wanting it for a really long time, and I'm just really glad that this figure was made I mean this thing is pretty damn sick now for a build a figure he is small um, just to compare him to Thor right here it's like you know Thor is not a build a figure and he's much larger and then uh, compared to cap right here this is a face off Captain America you know so he's smaller than your average action figure I guess but you know it's still cool you know the characters it's pretty I'm just stoked that they have the character here, so it's pretty damn sweet. And I'm really stoked that they put him in the uh, Captain America movie. So we have Arnim Zola. Hopefully we'll see him in this form in the near future, or whenever they come up with another Avengers movie, which, oh my god, is so sick. But anyway, this figure right here, there is a variant to him. This is the Red Skull version over here. So recently in the comics, Red Skull went into this android body form, and... Um, it's pretty cool. There's a whole story about actually gotta give a big thanks to Solid for letting me buy his left arm because this got stuck in here. I had this for a long while without the uh, you know with the torso and the head that I needed to make Arnim Zola. So I just loosely put the limbs in here in the meantime and unfortunately I guess he had fallen over and this arm had gotten stuck in there so I wasn't able to pull it out so you know this is back from the toy biz days where if you put the figure or the limbs in you cannot take them back out and you could see right here they even made it so that you know the uh, the different sizes like the different legs can't be switched so they're just slightly different um, you know, more recently with the Hasbro figures, you could just pull the Build-A-Figure parts apart. The only difference between the red skull face is the head right here where it has the two red lights right there and the big red light right there on Arnhem. They're yellow, which I really like. I like the paint apps on these. Very good. And, you know, <laughs> there's not, I mean, there's not crazy paint shading on this figure or anything. There's the face very cool and you can customize these and change them I saw any in Reg's video where he was able to put different faces in there so you could detach right here and then detach up here and then um, and then take the plastic piece and then the face is actually a picture that's stuck to the torso and then you can put another picture on top of it and then just slap it all back together but you have to cut off a couple of the pegs that go in there in order to do that and I was very flattered that Neam used my face and he used Bug Nice Tens, Red Hulk 80s and Dave Vonner's faces so I thought that was really really cool uh, his only accessory that he comes with is this beacon thing I don't know if beacon's the right term I don't know a whole lot about Arnim Zola honestly I'm not gonna lie but this is what I think he uses to control his genetic mutations, his monsters, which is pretty neat. You know, not a whole lot of detail in there. It's just this gray piece of plastic with all the buttons and, on it and everything. And it does not fit in the right hand. It only fits in the left hand, which is not a big deal. Not really a complaint, just, you know, an observation. I really like the sculpting on his wizard sleeves right here. His gloves look very nice. You even see a little bit of a seam right there you know around the thumb area so I think that's really cool and then this shinier orange plastic for the legs is very nice I think that's very well done I like the paint apps also it's got this you know this shiny paint for this yellow ish gold same thing right there for his crotch area and the belt so very nice figure I like it you know not amazing but I do dig it and he's a little tricky on the posing side just because you know you can't really get this it doesn't really make sense to move this left and right without the face looking in the same direction I don't know just the way I see it anyway but the articulation is pretty damn decent the head does move up a little bit and moves down very well oh this is something else I really wanted to show is the sculpting detail right here that is sweet man I think that is cool very nice attention to detail right there. Thought that was really well done. 
and his arms move out and forward. No bicep swivel, which is a little bit of a bummer, but not a huge deal. His arm bends at one point at the elbow, and it also rotates. The wrists rotate, move up and down. He has the waist swivel right there. His legs move out, forward, like that. And he has an upper thigh swivel, which is also where the leg connects. Double jointed knees. He rotates at the boot. The ankle moves up and down, and he has this gorgeous ankle pivot that I am a huge fan of. He also has peg holes at the bottom of his feet, and I think the sculpting on the boots is very, very cool. So yeah, this is a very cool figure. I mean, I'd, I'd say it's a must-get, you know, if you are if you want to have, like, a good collection of Avengers villains. And especially with him being in the Captain America movie, it's like, makes me want him even more, but... I don't know how much of a powerful villain he really is. I don't really know a whole lot about him. If anyone you know wants to recommend any readings, um, you, know, you know, I'll pick up trades. I just picked up a couple of trades at Free Comic Book Day. So, yeah, that's my review, you guys. Hope you dig it, and I'll catch you later. Peace. That's crispy. Oh, that's Shardimus. He is so awesome. But now what should I do on the internets? You go to BKPN.net! No shame, man! BKPN's big news is number one source for geek news, reviews, toys, comics, movies, cartoons, video games, and more! I said, don't watch my videos, where are you going? BKPN.net! Where are you going? BKPN.net! Like, no, it was just an April boycott. It was just for April, so...